I I don't like mice. Yeah. Okay. I hope that taught you a lesson. Meow. Now go do that thing the boss told you to do. With the pub and the pipe and the bottle. Uh, I didn't even know what he said. <laughs> he told you to go to the wolf pub to take care of that lumberjack, you know what I mean? Wolf pub. Chop. Chop. Looks like you are. Chop, yeah, the chop. wolf pub. Green. If you know what I mean. I don't know what that means. Chop. 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 Yeah, it's chop. like a double entendre, you know? Chop, chop, get to it. And also, chop, chop, because he's a lumberjack. Haha, <laughs> it's funny. Funny! Laugh! Huh. Laugh. No, 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 no. Laugh like me. Laugh like ha ha, <laughs> funny like a clown, funny. Ha 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 You know? <laughs> lol. Well, shit. That was close. Well, she laughed. She said lol. Don't do what I did. We didn't take oh, too kindly. Hell yeah. What? 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 What'd what? you say? What? What the fuck did you just say? What? What the hell did you just say? What? <laughs> what did you, you say? Right a big scary, you damn right there's a big scary man standing in front of you. It's the boss. This guy? No, the boss. Oh. That's right. You both have yellow shoes. Pug. I got something. You think you're Maybe a big scary that that story tour again, boss. I don't think she understood. Wow, I'm glad I okay. put in the most awkward spot I'm gonna tell you the story again. But I, I don't like repeating myself. We should start back. Garrett urged. As the woods began to grow dark around them. The wild things are dead. Do the dead frighten you? Sir Weimar Royce asked, with just a hint of a smile. Garrett did not rise to the bait. He was an old man, past fifty. And he had seen the Lordlings come and go. Why, thank you. Dead is dead, he said. We have no business with the dead. Are they dead? Royce asked softly. What proof have we? Will saw them, Garrett said. He says they are dead. Again? That's proof enough for me. Again. Will had known they would drag him into the quarrel sooner or later. He wished it had been later rather than sooner. Yeah. My mother told me that dead men sing no songs, he put in. My wet nurse said the same thing, Will. Wiss replied. Never believe anything you hear at a woman's tit. There are things to be learned, even from dead. <laughs> His voice echoed, too loud in the toilet forest. We have a long ride before us, Gary pointed out. Eight days, maybe nine. And nine is falling. Fuck you. Sir Waymar Rose glanced at the sky with disinterest. It does that every day about this time. Are you unmanned by the dark, Garrett? Will could see the tightness around Garrett's mouth. The barley suppressed anger in his eyes under the thick black hood of his cloak. Garrett had spent forty years in the Night's Watch, man and boy, and he was not accustomed to being made light of. Yet it was more than that. Under the wounded pride, Will could sense something else in the older man. He could taste it. A nervous tension that came perilous close to fear. Will shared his unease. He had been four years on the wall. The first time he had been sent beyond, 
All the old stories had come rushing back, and his bowels had turned to water. He had laughed about it afterwards. He was a veteran of a hundred rangings by now, and the endless dark wilderness that the Southron called the Haunted Forest had no more terrors for him. Until tonight. Right, until tonight. Do you get it now? Do you understand why you gotta go to the wolf pub? With the lumberjack and the thing? Hold on, I need a smoke. You understand? <laughs> no, right David. then, Vominos! Hey. Okay, well, I set you up to win that, so. End scene! <laughs> 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 <laughs>